Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third. Here's the video we've been promising you on the YouTube channel. Structure Browns here in the trench off Henderson. We've started the day here today, a little bit to the right, Jay. Started the day, boom, we we whacked a big 10 pounder right here to get things started. You can see him in the kit. My old buddy Doug Neiman been with me 30 plus years. He is locked. He's on the diver, this one at 220. We're trying to maintain 80, 85 feet coming down through the edge. A little bit to the left, we've got a distinct pattern. Cam, come on back. Fish right here, Cam, on number two. Bounce on number two, you got him? It's either that or something sliding down the line. Got him? Sliding down the line. Nope, no, he's gone, Vince. I think probably a little piece of uh, grass or debris coming down there, bumping that, bumping that line. There it goes, right there. What is that, Cam? A bag or something coming down the... Must be a piece of garbage, yeah, piece of garbage on the line. That'll fool you sometimes. You can see the plastic bag coming in right here. That'll hit the line, slide down, and it'll bump like a fish is on it. Jay, how deep are we here, sir? We're at 79. Okay, angle me out to the left a little bit. We don't want to get any shallower than that. Structure Browns, what we're doing today is a dedicated moonshine pattern. You can see this one that came up, there's a the green shorts right there. Solid, solid bait. So we're running variations of the green short, green jeans, green slice. That's what we're working here in Henderson Harbor today. We're uh, just coming down this edge. We're gonna try to take these fish. We had a flounder pounder out on uh, the 220 Dipsy on a tip from the old man. B2's out here with us today. And uh, he went early, came by me, flashed me the six sign that he had six browns in already, then sent me a text on the depths that he was taking them. Doug, as this fish comes in, I've got these leaders set for kings, so they're about 15 feet long, so we're gonna reel all the way to the diver, and then you, when you back up, you're gonna back up with the rod tip high and go almost all the way to the canvas, okay? You got it. This is a good one. Brother Cam's got the knot here ready to roll what we're trying to do on a structure brown everybody is we're trying to find where that thermocline that temperature in the mid 50s where it meets the bottom in this case the temperature today is at about 85 feet so that's what we're fishing that 85 foot contour and we're putting the bait all within 10 feet or so of the bottom. We're jamming them right in there, but we're tail gunning a few just to get them in the right position. Nice brown, wheel to the left, big brown. That's it right there. Yeah. Okay, get them, get them camera. Right there it is. Look at this big hog brown. Woohoo! That is the ticket. There's that moonshine spoon. Old lamprey's hit on the side of this brown right here and what have you. You guys have seen Doug a million times in my spring videos with me down on the South Shore. We're doing the same thing here in Henderson. We're just working a little deeper pattern on those fish. And he's just a beauty coming on the diver at 220. Good job, buddy. Here's a look at our Garmin right here. We're fishing, we've been trying to hold 85 and you can see here in the upper left corner, we're at 94 feet right here. But um, this is what we're looking for. That temperature, we dropped our probe and we found out that our temperature is right down here at about 85 feet, 80, 85 feet. And here's this bait right here at 80. And you can see right here on the edge that bait coming through. Now, it's rallied pretty good because the bait's orange right here. I'm not seeing fish that are stratified around it right now on the Garmin. But as we move along here, we've been seeing browns coming up off the bottom and working right into Perfect that. Perfect right example there. of these structured browns coming in on the edge. You can see some right here that are packed right in on bottom, but then as we move right here, you can see the 90 foot and 75, and they're sandwiched right there between uh, 75 and 90. One, two, three, four, five, at least five browns there stacked right on top of one another. And that's exactly the fish that we're looking to hit again here on another structure brown here with Jay Sailor working right here. Cam, let me just show the people what we're doing here. You can see we're in 80, working 80 feet, 85 feet of water, 81 here, or 81 on this winger as well. And what we're trying to do there, that winger is coming up in the water column a little bit. 
so it's riding just a little bit higher, but three of the rods, 81, 81, and 85. Here comes this brown right now. Let's bring him right in here. Good, just nice job right there. Another smaller brown, and he pounded, uh, he pounded a, a green jeans out on that edge. Oh, nice fish. At 81, yeah. at 81 feet. So again, right where that thermocline <clears throat> meets the bottom, right there, he's on the wire, right there, live action. Okay. Right there, he hit the wire. Be careful of this snap, guys. Cam Hazard grabbing that, Doug Neiman coming. There you go, buddy. Right on it right there, that's perfect. Couldn't work any better than that, Cam. We pound one down the center on the Ryan's uh, flounder, pounder. flounder pounder. We hit one on the green jeans. green jeans down on number four. And while we're fighting it, Dollar the pounder. wire goes on another uh, UV flounder pounder. How deep are we here, Vince? 78, a little, little bit to the right. A little bit to the right, Vince. How's he feeling, Doug? Good. Feels real great. This is what structure brown trout fishing can be like, everybody. It's not like this all the time. You got to make sure that the that the fish is he still there. I don't think so. I don't know. Raise him up. He might be coming at us. Might be coming at us. Hard to say. Not sure. Is he gone? Yeah, I think we messed him right there. Let's take a look at one of the devices that we use to determine where we should be fishing and where we should be looking for these brown trout. It's a neat little device. If you're not set up with a fish hawk on the dash of your boat, this is something that you can use as a small boater to keep you in the pocket on these structure browns. Let's go to the tech segment. Two things that are critical to our success in today's fishing. I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack about this, but um, none of the boats in the Safe Charter Fleet have Fishhawk probes on the dash. We're structure fishermen up here in the eastern end of Lake Ontario. If we were fishing blue water, uh, where we're coming north into deep water quickly, going east or west, looking for a needle in a haystack, it's the first piece of equipment that we'd put on. But because we're on structure so often, we'll keep temperature on the boat, but we'll run just a mini probe so that we don't have to worry too much about losing probes on the cable in uh, rock structure situations where we'll hook the occasional downrigger ball on the bottom and tear gear off. It's just the order of the day in the type of fishing that we do. One of the things that's critical about catching structure browns is you have to be where that thermocline, their temperature break, actually comes in and meets the bottom. So what we do is we use a tiny little fish hawk like this, and it's just designed to clip on the downrigger. We'll put it on one of the downriggers at the beginning of the day, or when we're looking at a scenario on the graph and we're not sure what we're looking at, we'll start it. It'll flash ready, and you can see it's reading the ambient temperature outside here at 79.9. Well, if we hit view the last time it went down, if you look here on the right side, zero, five feet, watch the, watch the temperature change in five-foot increments as the probe goes down on the downrigger. You lower it down to the bottom, bring it back up, and you can see the temperature change as it goes down to the bottom. What we're looking for today is we're looking for where that temperature break uh, comes heavy between 55 and 62 or 63 degrees. Where we see that, we want to look at that depth, then we want to go to the shore. The trench area of Henderson's a perfect area to access, to move in along the bank, hit that edge. Today, that break happened to be 80, 85, 90 foot right in that area. So we concentrated basically about 85 foot. We come in, we hit the edge of the shelf like that. We make sure that all the riggers are placed between 75, 78 foot and, and let's say 90 feet down. We're going to have some blowback of the cables in the water so we can actually fish a little deeper on the wire of the downrigger than the actual depth that we're in. Speed today, 2.4, 2.5 knots. Surface speed seemed to be doing the damage on it. Now, what were, we, what were we catching them on? Here's the other part to the puzzle. Today, it was an all moonshine bite. This one here is called Ryan's Flounder Pounder. This was tremendous. 
on the deep rod, deep rod, this flounder pounder. It just looks like a basic black and white spoon, but when it's charged in the sunlight and at depth, it's all kinds of crazy colors. The two standbys in the safe fleet that work all the time, here's the green jeans right here. This one's absolutely tremendous with a silver cup. That's dynamite on browns. And here's the, uh, here's the, here's the green shorts. There's the green shorts. Got the glow edge, silver cup on that. The other one uh, that was very dynamic was the UV flounder pounder in green up on the dipsy diver in the wire. And all we were doing with that wire is putting the wire far enough out on a two and a quarter setting to match up where we were catching those fish on the downriggers. And it gave us six productive rods, easily took our limit of browns, and then we're able to go out and, uh, and fish some kings on top of that. But that's what we're doing. That's how we're keying in on those structure browns. And uh, we've got more on here on the eastern end of Lake Ontario in the trench off Henderson Harbor. So let's go right back on the action right here. Number three on uh, black, white, flounder pounder, right, Cam? Yep. Black, white, no, you let him on there. Oh. You gotta handle that deal. That's the Ryan. Oh, Ryan's flounder pounder is what we're on right here. Put that weight in the water, Cam, right there on number three. A little bit to the left, Doug. Working on it. Watch where he's going, Vince. Big fish here. I'm going to spread these rods here for you, Cam. Good right here. I was waiting for that deep, deep right. Better get, better get, better get that on, Cam. He's coming in tight right here. He's right here. Be careful. Move to your left there, Vince. Just a little. Left. Watch your pliers. Yep. I'm trying to keep him out of these other lines. Really nice fish. Coming deep. How deep? 81 down. There he is right there. 81 down and 85 feet of water in the center. Again, trying to work that bottom 10 feet. Keep him out of that line. Rod tip to the right. There he is. Rod tip to the right, Vince. There you go, buddy. Big, big, big brown right here. Wheel to the right. Wheel to the right, Doug. Right. Look at the si size of that fish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got to back up, Vince. Easy, easy. I got gotcha. you. Get him if you can, Cam. Got him. All right, nice fish. Just a giant brown. Got oh, it. Okay, right there. Giant brown, Vince. Look at the size of that structure brown. That's exactly what we're looking for. And that's Ryan's flounder pounder. Yep. Take a look at that. Bat him, will you, Cam? And I'm going to take a look at that bait and show him to everybody. Vince? Well done, old buddy. Hey, only by you. Tremendous, tremendous job. Built safe, does it again. Look at that spoon right there. There it is. Look at the kipe on that. Flip that fish around the other side for me, Cam, because he's beat up on that side. There it is right there. Look at that brown. He is just an absolute stud of a fish. Put good right in the corner there on that flounder pounder. Vince, always dynamic buddy boy <laughs> very well done that's a good one perfect beautiful beautiful brown trout right there just a dandy dandy brown just a perfect structure brown and that's exactly what we're doing i'm going to get some pictures of you vince